Good day and welcome to today's video. In this one, we're quickly going to look at the item of field properties. Now, this we'll find in our design view. Um, in this case, we're going to our table, we're going to CD table, we have that open. And now we're going to go to view and design view. In design view, we'll see two sections. You'll see at the bottom, we have our field properties area. Um, however, on top, we have the list of fields and the data types associated with them. So for example, artist, the name of that field is artist and the data type, in other words, the data that's going to go into that field is short text. Um, and our field properties for that particular field, you'll see field size here and that relates to the number of characters that can go into a field. Right, so in this case, artists can take up to a number uh, of 45 characters. Okay, then we have uh, another uh, few different options, things like input mask, where we can say if that field uh, must have letters and numbers or letters only, we can even say, um, you know, how many letters or how many numbers, for example, a cell phone number. Okay, if you don't want people to make mistakes, um, then you will specify that you actually just want 10 numbers in there so the person doesn't accidentally enter more. We also have a default value. These are just typical things that I'm going through um, that do tend to come in. The default value is what will display in that cell or in that field right, before anyone even clicks on it. So that's what will remain there. Our validation rule and text a validation rule um, will be a rule that will be applied to that particular field. The validation text, however, is the message that displays if the person doesn't abide by that rule. So let's say uh, it's the field of gender. Okay. And we say in our validation rule, um, they must only enter M or F. We could say that by default, in the, from this default value, it, can, it should just have an M unless someone goes and changes it. Now, if somebody goes in and types in, I don't know, uh, a zero or a Z or whatever the case may be, then the validation text is what must display. So it will pop up to say, unfortunately, you can only enter M or F, something like that. Then the last one, uh, the required, when, okay, required by default will be no. So when you say yes, required you are actually saying that this field data must be entered entered into this field because it is required so the person who is capturing the data will not be able to go forward in capturing their data be, uh, until they've entered something in this field in this case when we put all these rules together we are saying that in the field artist they can enter a maximum of 45 characters but we can limit those characters to letters and numbers in terms of how many each, what will display their rules associated with it. So there, there are a number of options um, that we can actually deal with. You'll see the field properties change according to the data type. So here, for example, we have format, how it must display, the decimal places, etc. Uh, when it comes to number, these also change a little bit. There you can see a default value of 82 okay and this is your field properties whatever you change here we'll then go back to the data sheet view um, save those changes and it will then reflect or take place in your table